Good day everyone. From an investment from Pakistan International Airlines, it has become a global mega airline. Emirates has by far been the A380's largest operator. Among the 251 sold planes, Emirates has ordered most of them which is around 123. Emirates changed its approach with the introduction of the A380. Since 2016, it has only operated two types of large widebody aircraft. The A380's overall narrative is challenging. While it is generally acknowledged that things for Airbus and many airlines have not gone as anticipated when it comes to the jumbo jet, things however have gone smoothly for Emirates. With hub and spoke operations in mind, the A380 was created. On Boeing's side airlines began using the 747 on important routes, and the cost per seat decreased as a result of Boeing's success. The A380 was developed by Airbus in the 1980s to compete with Boeing in the high-capacity market, but the company bravely decided to go beyond. Emirates, like other airlines, has been struggling with the A380 because of the high operating costs and the changing trends in air travel. The A380 is an enormous double-decker aircraft that can carry a large number of passengers and is designed for long-haul flights. However, it is also an expensive plane to operate and maintain. The high fuel consumption, maintenance costs, and airport fees have made it challenging for airlines to generate profits from the A380. The introduction of the A380 coincided with rising fuel costs in the global financial crisis. Moreover, with the rise of point-to-point -point travel and the emergence of smaller and more fuel-efficient planes like the Boeing 787 and Airbus A350, airlines are shifting away from hub and spoke models. This means that instead of using large planes like the A380 to transport passengers from one hub to another, airlines are now using smaller planes to connect non-stop between smaller cities. As a result, airlines like Emirates, which have invested heavily in the A380, are finding it increasingly challenging to fill up the planes, leading to financial struggles. The skies have bid farewell to the colossal double-decker airplanes as a number of airlines, Air France being one of them, have retired them from their fleet. Meanwhile, the likes of Thai Airways and Malaysia Airlines have put their massive aerial machines up for sale, perhaps to seek a new adventure in the hands of other intrepid aviators. Less passengers and more expensive fuel help the business case for heavy twins such as the 777, 787 and now the A350, and most airlines have preferred those types to the A380, except for Emirates. Emirates operates a hub and spoke model in an excellent geographic location. It has its main base in Dubai and most of its business comes from connecting passengers through this one city. Many airlines apart from Emirates were looking to phase out quad jets in favor of twin jets that used less fuel. For several airlines, the pandemic accelerated the retirement of quad jets. As the world looks to reduce its carbon footprint, many airlines are bidding adieu to their quad jet planes opting for twin jets that consume less fuel. However, the pandemic threw a spanner in the works and expedited the retirement of these planes for several airlines. The future looked bleak for the gargantuan A380, but lo and behold, the king of the skies is back in business. And why, you may ask? The answer lies in the sudden surge in air travel. With the pandemic becoming less of a threat, people are eager to travel again, and airlines are struggling to keep up with the demand. In a bid to avoid falling behind, several airlines are bringing back the trusty A380 to cater to the booming demand. Take Etihad Airways, for instance. They have brought back their beloved A380s for their critically important Abu Dhabi to London Heathrow route. It seems that the A380 still has a few more miles to fly. Will Emirates succeed with the A380? See you in the next video.